very good day to you. We British are sociable chaps and like nothing more than to have conversations about the weather, the fate of Hellebuck, and how a chap's begonias are doing. Unfortunately, due to the current pandemic situation, chaps are forced to self-isolate and conversation may not be possible. And here to help me to provide some useful advice on what one should do to stay in touch with each other is my good friend, Dr. Aubrey Winthorpe, Esquire. Good day to you, Mr. Chubbington. Are you well? Quite well, thank you, Dr. Winthorpe. I was just about to explain to our friends how one might be able to stay in touch without going outdoors. Yes, this is a very serious situation in the current climate. If you are unable to go to the post office, or the library, or the library, or the corner shop, or the corner shop, you or might... Or the swimming baths. Yes, indeed, the swimming baths. You will be unable to participate in normal social intercourse, which is very important. Indeed, normal intercourse is very important. Yes, without normal intercourse, a chap could start to feel down in the dumps. Indeed, without normal intercourse, a chap could start to feel down in the dumps, and that would be very bad for morale. Yes, very bad for morale indeed. Indeed, very important. If we are to defeat the Hun... You mean, defeat the virus? Indeed, if we are to defeat the virus. So, with that in mind, my colleague Dr. Winthorpe and myself have put together a short film demonstrating the different methods in which chaps can stay communicated. And it is also very important to note that these methods have been approved by Her Majesty's Government. Yes, and the Department of Communications has approved these methods as they are safe during the pandemic, they will not spread disease or breach social distancing rules. Or breach social distancing rules. One method is the good old tin can telephone system. Chaps like us used to use in the Boy Scouts. Simply take a can, one that contained previously oxtail soup for example. Simply clean out the innards thoroughly, place a piece of string underneath like so, and bop your uncle. Then your friend or neighbour can attach their own tin can to the end of the string. And there you have your telephone system. This will provide you with a rudimentary telephone system. Hello, Dr. Winthorpe. I am speaking with my voice on the tin can telephone system. Over. Hello, Mr. Chubbington. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Over. Marvellous! Are you well, Dr. Winthorpe? Over. Quite well, Mr. Chubbington. Over. And how are your begonias? Over. They are quite well, thank you. Despite the late frost, over. Another method to use is semaphore. Semaphore. Flags held in different positions to spell out a message.
Another method to use is the traditional American Indian system of smoke signals. Dr. Winthorpe is no longer available for conversation. So, there you have it. You may have been confined to barracks, but there are still ways in which you can continue good communications with your friends and family. Isn't that right, Dr. Winthorpe? Yes, that is correct. So remember, regardless of the current situation, it is still possible to have good social intercourse. I shall certainly be having good intercourse with my good lady wife when I get home. What about you, Dr. Winthorpe?